Hi everyone, welcome to the PDB channel. I'm Joel Pettit and today I want to talk to you about the increasing long wait times for CRSC or combat related special compensation application and um, uh, reconsideration adjudications. Why am I doing this? Because I recently had a, well, startling email from the Navy CRSC board that told me that their eight month wait times that were happening during the early summer and spring have now been extended to 12 to 15 months. I was shocked, so I figured I'd tell everyone out there. Let's talk about the other services. The Army, Air Force, they're still at around four to six months. Of course, the notices you get say 90 to 120 days, but I've seen otherwise with packages that I have received. So those are the timelines you're looking at. And a lot of people, of course, will say, well, how do I plan for this? Or how do I integrate this knowledge into my planning? Here's how you do so. Just remember this. CRSC back pay eligibility is limited to six years from the date that you left service. Pretty simple. Now, why this matters is because the date of adjudication of your CRSC application or uh, reconsideration, that's not the date your back pay will be based on. The date your back pay will be based on is your application date. Let's say you're at five and a half years after you got out of the military and it's six years uh, worth of back pay. If I don't get my application in now, it won't be adjudicated in time and I'll be giving the uh, government back free money. Not the case. You just have to make sure that it's been received by the CRSC board within that six years to maximize your back pay potential. That's really as simple as it is. Of course, every service is gonna have those wait times and that's nothing that any of us can really control because at least as the Navy told me, it is strictly based on staffing issues. So whether or not they have staff at certain times, they employ civilians, uh, active duty military, you have PCS issues, you have federal hiring issues, these are all things that can get very complex and be very confusing. So the best way to avoid all this is to just apply for CRSC when you think you're ready to do so. Now, if you're a service member and you're having trouble with this process, as a lot of people are, if you've been denied or partially denied and you don't know why, please go to my website, joelpettitlaw.com, shoot me an email, give me a call. I'd love to speak to you about your potential case. If you found this video helpful, please click here to watch more. Otherwise, thanks for watching everybody and have a great day.